Right guys, Peter Finch here and welcome down to Withington Golf Club for part three of this course vlog. I am flying solo today, but I am currently level par, just talking you through a little bit of course strategy, what I'm thinking about on certain shots, and then seeing if you hopefully find any interest from aforementioned course vlog content. <laughs> Anyway, 18th hole here. It's about 400 yards. I'm trying out this new three wood as well, G400 stretch. So far, so good. Only missed one fairway with it. And I was trying to play a bit of a different shot. So I'm aiming down the left here. The hole is it's tricky because it's a tight driving hole. Left is dead. It is out of bounds there, so deader than dead. But on the right hand side, there's two bunkers and trees, which if you go into, it's hard to get out. So the play is three wood down the left with a little bit of fade and just take it on. Be courageous. Yeah, I'll tell you what, I am hitting this amazing, this club. Yeah, faded perfectly into the middle of the fairway. So, 18th hole, second shot. It's 151 yards to the pin. The pin is at the back. Now, this is a choice of whether to be attacking or a little bit more conservative. Because it's slightly downwind, I could hit my wedge, wedge, wedge? <laughs> I could hit my wedge even, and pretty much finish in the middle of the green. But I'm going to hit a 9-9. I'm going to be quite attacking and try and fly it all the way there. Now, there is a little bit of room to the back, but not loads. There's also out of bounds. So I need to be brave, I need to fire it straight at it. Ah, it's just cutting a wee bit. Be good though. Yeah, pretty much bang on distance. Just faded away slightly. Great strike there. So I think this putt's gonna go slightly left. I've never had a birdie on this 18th before, which it would be lovely if that could start now. And I think it's just gonna be outside the right. So I'm just gonna pick a point where I want the ball to set off. And that's what I normally do with my putts, guys. I normally pick a point and aim my ball at that. And I want it to set off on that line then refer to a point next to the hole. Hopefully after all that waffle, it's a decent effort. Hold that line. Ah, just went a little bit quicker than I expected in this portion. Damn. Quite a firm putt as well. Anyway, that's a par. Two holes to go. Two more chances for birdie. Come on, let's get on the par. Okay, first hole here at Withington off this forward winter tee. We are 120.1. It's a little bit uphill, but with it being slightly down breeze, I mean, the breeze is dying now. But with it being slightly down breeze, I think just a little tiny wedge should do me. Oh, come on. Wouldn't it be good to have an all in one here? Got two cameras on me as well. So I'm going to get my little wedge. It's basically like a three quarter swing for me here just gripping it down with these one lengths as well because i don't want it rocketing up in the air so i'm gripping it down slightly on the steel now this type of shot for me is key actually getting my approach play a lot tighter that's the one thing in strokes gain that i'm actually struggling with quite a lot so i want to try and get this nice and close I'm taking dead aim just to the left and if it creeps around with the wind then that's fine Ah, no, I left the face open. Yeah, just to the right of the hole on the green, but a little bit disappointing that. So I'm not going to lie, guys, a little bit disappointed by that, but I've left myself an uphill put a little bit right to left, but it is in that 20 to 30 foot area where the fact is, percentage wise, I'm not going to make many of these putts. No one is. So that's a little bit disappointing. However, there is still a chance. And this to go one on the par overall, and one more par three to go. Oh, you got to hit it, it's up the hill, Pete. Oh, Peter, it is up the hill. Oh, well, another par, and on to the fourth. So again, I'm leaving the camera quite a long way back here just so he captures the swing and hopefully captures it landing as well. Thanks to the way that I've zoomed in. Now, how far have I got? How far have I got here for my last chance? Again, a hole in one. 162 yards. Pins at the back though. So I'm gonna have to be brave. Out of bounds at the back as well. 162. I'm gonna go seven iron. I don't want to be crazy with it. I don't want to go six, even if the wind is that little bit into. So I'm going to go seven iron. 
Just need to get it right of the hole, picking out my target line, trying to imagine what that shot will be like, picking out something just in front of my ball, getting the club face set up to that, taking my stance, and then letting it go, come on. Wow, pulled it massively. Well, that was a poor shot. There is out of bounds left. I'm just going to hit another one, just in case. Well, that's the one I wanted to hit first time round. Yeah, centre of the green. Ah, damn. So last shot. Now, this is not something which I'm going to completely encourage everyone to do. But if I have it a bit of a dodgy shot like I did there, so with my seven iron, I'm going to try and make it make up for it. <laughs> it's obviously the club's fault. Um, so I'm going to use my seven iron here for a chip and run. And hopefully before the battery dies, get it nice and close and then go back to the studio slash office at home to have a look at the stats. Now I think it's going to move from left to right. Come on, let's just get that dead weight, treating it like a putt. That's not a bad way to finish. Right, good chip and run, and I'll see you back at home. Withington, thank you so much for having me out here. Of course, he's looking much improved, has to be said. Still not having the winter tees and all the rest of it, but the greens are picking up for sure. It's just a shame my ball catching skills aren't. Okay, let's have a look at the stats. Right, so back at home, and let's have a little bit of a look through at the data that we saw from, um, I think, a couple of areas that I want to look at. First of all, my approach play, which has not been the best, certainly not been as good as it needs to be. And then what I was doing off the tee with that three wood, because obviously that needs to be assessed if it is going to go in the back. So going into the stats, you see 86% of fairways hit. Bear in mind, I did only play nine holes, and the average distance that I had there with the three wood 248. I think that's slightly skewed by the fact that I had that one big 260 um, hit off the par five, but generally it was going further. And actually it's going a lot further than my current three wood, that's for sure. Maybe to be expected because of the lower loft, it's set at 13 degrees, but the actual way that it launched and the way that it flew, I was actually pretty impressed. So I think certainly that three wood, that stretch, uh, that's going to be going in my bag, I think, because it did feel really accurate. There was the one shot that I put a bad swing on it on 17, and apart from that, yeah, really good. Other stats here to be looking at, so my putting, um, lost 0.6 of a stroke, uh, short game lost 0.6 of a stroke, and approach play lost 0.6 of a stroke as well. Driving distance, that's down because I only used that three wood. Um, but the... <sighs> So one thing I certainly did find out, I need to get my approach shots closer when I was playing because it was a shortened course because we're playing off the winter tees. Uh, the greens were getting better, but it was still a bit bobbly. So giving yourself a longer distance put, that made it quite difficult because it was always the chance that it was going to move offline a little bit. So I needed to get them much closer to give myself a chance. But I, I just, yeah, I, I need to figure out a way to try and ensure that I have the best opportunity to hit those approach shots closer. But apart from that, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this solo course vlog style um, that I did. I think I might do a few more of them. I actually enjoyed the process of it all, uh, just playing around with different camera angles and actually using a static camera rather than on a monopod. That's something I might actually look at in general on course vlogs because the shot traces that I used, I was able to basically take the clips from the camera, put them onto the shot tracer app, and then just overlay them. Uh, on the edit, so it looked like there wasn't a change in camera, although obviously there wasn't a change in camera, but like there was no change in anything. And I was really happy with the way that looked. But let me know below, guys, what do you think? And make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hopefully you found some information useful. Comment below what would you like to see a little bit more of as far as this format is concerned. And we'll see you down here next time. It's as easy as that. Simple as that. I don't know. I don't know.